Hi, everyone. My name is Matthew, and I work as a pre-sales engineer for Accelerator. Today, we're going to integrate Salesforce with Zendesk. What are we going to do today? We're going to synchronize a Zendesk ticket to Salesforce case. We're going to do this manually and automatically. Then we're going to synchronize a Salesforce case to a Zendesk ticket, also manually and also automatically. Third, we're going to bidirectionally synchronize a Zendesk custom field to a Salesforce custom field. And then fourth, we're going to change the Salesforce status and we're gonna to wanna to have this reflected in Zendesk. So Excelate is a decentralized tool. What does that mean? That means that we install a node. A node is a gateway endpoint and we install it, install it on Salesforce and we install it on Zendesk. So we go to xla.com forward slash integrations and we go and click on Zendesk here and then on Salesforce here and here will be all the information that you need to get you started. How I'm gonna work today is with Google Chrome groups. So on the left, we have Zendesk and on the right, we got Salesforce. This way you're always going to know where exactly I am. On the Zendesk side, after we've installed Exalate, we can go here on the left to Exalate and it will look like this. So we got some getting started information with tutorials and documentation. We got some general settings where we can assign a proxy user and then we got connections. So on Salesforce, we also install it. And after it's installed on Salesforce, it will look exactly the same, which is amazing. So we're going to make a pipeline between the two nodes. So from either side of the connection, we click on initiate connection. We take the URL of the destination site and we paste it in here. We got two options, the basic option and the script option. So the basic option is four fields. So summary, comments, attachments, and description bidirectionally. Now the script mode is based on group scripting. So here the sky is the limit because you can line by line see and control what you want to send over to the other side. So we're going to select the script mode. We click next. We want to integrate Salesforce with Zendesk. And let me rename it to, for example, YouTube. We click on initiate and Excelate will provide a code. Now this code is a unique code and you don't need to be admin on both sides. So we can copy the code. We can go to Zendesk. We can accept the invitation now and we can paste the code. We click on next and that's it. So let's see the product in action. Let's start from Salesforce. So we create a new case. So let me create a new case here and let's call it so it comes from the web, let's say um, Salesforce ticket one. Uh, longer description, some more info in the comments. Let me save it. So we are gonna do this two ways. The manual way, which means we go to here, we click on Excelate, we find our connection, we click on Excelate. Now Excelate will create a twin of itself, of these tickets, on the other side. So we can see here, we have a status update waiting for remote. So it is in the queue. It is getting sent over to Zendesk, to that node that's getting transferred there and integrated in the Zendesk side. And there it's looked at as a ticket. And this is bidirectional out of the box, but it doesn't have to be bidirectional. We can change this. So let's refresh. You can see it's synchronized with a remote link. So if I go to my Zendesk site and I refresh all my tickets, then we will see here our ticket from Zendesk, uh, from Salesforce, sorry. So we can say here, hi, this is Zendesk. We, we have everything here from the Salesforce site. And then this will get reflected on Salesforce. Any of the fields you see here, any, of the statuses, you can also all map, which we will do in a second. So we also have the status upgrades. So if I go now to Salesforce and I refresh, then here we can see the comments. So this is the manual way, let's automate this. So we go to the Salesforce node. We see there is one entity on the sync. Let's go to triggers. This trigger is checking if a query is matched. So we're gonna do this on cases. 
So we select cases here in the drop-down menu and we have a visual interface and we also have a script interface. So let's say every case, the company name Hidalgo, we want to have a synchronous with our connection, we make it active. Okay, so we can see our triggers here and this is on a create or update event from the present on. So let's see this in action. I go to Salesforce and I create a new case with company name Hidalgo. And of course, I have to name it. So Salesforce ticket two, uh, longer description, a comment. And this will get automatically picked up. I will not have to click on here on Excelate because we created a trigger and we say, we set in the trigger, okay, the company should be adopted. So let's refresh the page. And then we will see it getting picked up and getting pushed over to Zendesk. Okay, so we can see it was picked up and we have a remote link. So if I go to Zendesk, then we will see here our second ticket. This is also bi-directional. Let's do this the other way around. So on Zendesk, I can create a ticket. So Zendesk ticket one, ABC. So, so if I submit it, here I have also the XLA panel. And I can click on Excelate and I can say our connection and I can click Excelate. So it works exactly the same. While this is going to the other side, let's create a trigger. So let's say every, it's already synchronized, really nice. So there is a remote link and this is on Salesforce. So this is again bi-directional, right? So here I can uh, say, for example, an, um, an image, then this is all bi-directional. So we go to, the triggers on Zendesk and we say, okay, uh, if every single uh, ticket with a status open, that should be synchronized. So we put it here, we select our connection and we make it active. So if you want to synchronize over backlog of tickets, we can click on the three dots here, build Excelate. It will iterate over all the possible tickets. The ones with the query, we can synchronize them all at once. So let's create a new ticket with a status open. So Zendesk ticket two. And here we say it's open. And then this will get synchronized automatically. Okay, so we can see here that the status changed. So it's picked up and we can see it's, it's uh, pushed over to the other side. All right, so let's do something. We have here a custom field asset serial number. Let's synchronize that over to Salesforce for example, here, the color field. So on Zendesk, we select, we, we, we copy the, the ID and the name of this field. We go to our connections and we find our connection. So we can see four entities on the sync, two that started in Salesforce, two that started in Zendesk. Edit connection. So what is this? Outgoing sync is sending over information from Zendesk to Salesforce. Incoming sync is assigning information that was getting sent over. So again, I'm here, I'm taking all these values in the outgoing sync, taking a copy of it, and I'm sending them over to Salesforce. So if I wanna add one, so as, let's say replica custom field one, I can say issue dot, and I just put in here the name of the field and I publish it. What do I need to do on the other side? I need to exactly where is this? Uh, I need to copy this. I need to go to our incoming sync of Salesforce because remember the outgoing sync of Zendesk becomes the incoming sync of Salesforce. And here I say entity dot, wherever we want to have it populated equals replica dot test and field one. So let's say we want to have it populated on the color field. We go to fields and relationships on the setup. And there we will see that the, the name is just uh, displayed, right? So Right now, for me, the, the name of the field is color underscore C. So we can publish this. And here we will say, for example, blue color. And I submit it as open. Then this um, will get pushed over to Salesforce. So let's go to Salesforce and let's find our second, uh, let's find the right case. So. It was uh, Zendesk ticket two. And then here we can see that the color changed, right? So 
Second part of the demonstration is we're going to synchronize over statuses. So let's say the status here, new, working, the status working should be in progress in, in Zendesk. So we send over the state. So here we can see entity status. We take the state and we put it into a replica. So how does this replica look like? We go to Zendesk. We open up the entity sync status in a new tab. So let me duplicate this. We open it up. And here we say, okay, this one, four, three, two is already synchronized. So I put it in here and I say, show remote replica. And here we can see exactly what is sent over, including the status and the value. So let me, here is also the key is the summary. So all of this. So let me go to the incoming sync because we're going to do something with the value of Salesforce. We got some custom code here, some dummy codes. So we see the custom value and status synchronization. So synchronize statuses according to a mapping. Remote status, colon local status. So let me decomment these three lines out. So we said working should be in progress or uh, what should we say? Pending, for example. So let's say pending. And let's remove this. So it was under the status dot value. So let's publish this. And let's put the status here on working. And let's save it. So right now, what we're doing is we're taking the status. We're putting it in the outgoing sync. And then on the incoming sync of Zendesk, we're taking some code. So we say, OK, if it's working, Salesforce should be pending Zendesk. And we set the status according to the mapping we just created. So let's go to our Zendesk site and let's refresh. And then here we will see that it will move to pending. Just got to give it a second. So here we can see that it changed to pending according to the mapping that we built. So hopefully that's all a bit clear. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I will respond to them. If you want to see something else, also, let me know. I will do some other integration videos for other platforms. So really keen uh, to see you guys soon in a different YouTube video. And yeah, take care. <laughs> Goodbye.